hey guys so let's quickly compare the specs of the ULF number 26 ultra with the ULF number 28 ultra so first i'll talk about the number 26 ultra and then i'll talk about the number 28 ultra and at the end of the video i'll discuss what i think about both devices so without further ado let's dive into it so this device has a rugged design which is expected at the back of the phone is a module that contains quad cameras and a super loud 121 decibel speaker the phone also supports two-way satellite messaging which is also powered by bullets the device also supports a blaster which means you could use it to control some of your electronics and appliances at your home including your tv and your ac and this device is ip68 and ip69k certified it is also military grade standard h10h compliant which means the amount 26 ultra is waterproof dust proof shock proof it is also resistant to high pressure water jets based on its IP ratings. It can also survive different environmental conditions. In terms of specs, the phone has a 6.78 inch Full HD Plus IPS LCD display with a 120Hz refresh rate and the display is protected with Corning Gorilla Glass 5. It runs on the Android 13 and I'm expecting it to receive the Android 14 via OTA. Further, the AMO26 Ultra is powered by the Dimensity 8020 processor, which is a 6 nanometer octa core processor with a clock speed of up to 2.6 GHz. And the device utilizes 12GB RAM and 512GB internal storage. With this configuration, the AMO26 Ultra shouldn't have any problem running different applications and games that you need on your device. In the camera department, the phone features a quad ray camera setup like I mentioned earlier. Its main sensor is a 200 MP sensor with f1.8 aperture and it also supports face detection or focus, followed by an 8 MP telephoto lens with 3.2x optical zoom, a 64 MP night vision camera with two IR night vision lights, and a 50 MP ultra wide angle lens that also functions as a macro lens. The phone is capable of shooting 4K videos at 30 fps and its front facing camera is 50 mp that is capable of shooting 1080p videos at 30 fps the 26 ultra has a thickness of 25.5 millimeters and it weighed 609 grams which means the device is very bulky and that is because it is equipped with a super large 15,600 milliampere hour battery and it also supports 120 watts fast charging and 33 watts wireless charging via docking stations and it also supports reverse wire charging which means you could use the AMO26 Ultra to charge other devices. So other features includes NFC, a side mounted fingerprint scanner, face unlock, Wi-Fi 6, 5G connectivity, GPS, FM radio and so on guys. So these are just some of the reasons why the AMO26 Ultra is one of the best 5G rugged phones in 2024 the device like i mentioned earlier is going to details now shall we now according to the details the amor 28 ultra will be powered by the mediatek dimensity 9300 plus for those of you that are not aware the 9300 plus is mediatek's most powerful mobile processor it's literally on par with the snapdragon 8 gen 3 guys to give you a clue of how powerful this processor is its answer to benchmark score is over 2 million and the processor supports Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 5.4. It has a clock speed of up to 3.4 GHz. The processor is also capable of recording 8K videos at 30 FPS and 4K videos at up to 60 FPS. So these are just some of the top details of the mobile processor. If the ULF AMO28 Ultra happens to be powered by this processor, the AMO28 Ultra might be very, very expensive than many other 5g rugged phones but the fact is the amateur 28 ultra would be the most powerful 5g rugged phone other features includes a 6.67 inch amoled 120 hertz display the device also has a circular rear display it ships with the latest android 14 it utilizes 16 gb ram and it has 512 gb internal storage in terms of optics it features a quad rear camera setup consisting of a 50 mp main sensor a 64 mp night vision sensor a 50 mp ultra wide angle lens and a thermal camera by thermal view and its front facing camera is 50 mp the device is military grade standard it's an it's certified and it is ip68 and ip69k compliant which is expected because 
you know it's a rugged phone the device also packs a 10,600 milliampere battery and it supports 120 watts wire charging as well as 50 watts wireless charging and reverse wireless charging other features includes a side mounted fingerprint scanner bluetooth 5.4 wi-fi 7 which is insane nfc and so on guys so these are just some of the top features of the Ulephone Amor 28 Ultra once I get more details about the other models in the Amor 28 series I'll definitely share with you guys so there we go guys the Amor 28 Ultra versus the Amor 26 Ultra personally the Amor 28 Ultra is a much more better option it is much more powerful than the Amor 26 Ultra not just more powerful than the Amor 26 Ultra it's literally the most powerful 5G rugged phone of 2024 and if there are no devices, no rugged devices in 2025 that are equipped with at least the Dimensity 9300 Plus or any other mobile processor that is on par with the 9300 Plus or a little bit more powerful than the 9300 Plus like the 8 Gen 3, then the Amor 28 Ultra would also be the most powerful 5G rugged phone of 2025. So this device is not just a flagship rugged phone, it is a flagship smartphone in general guys so the amor 28 ultra is much more powerful and of course in terms of optics the amor 28 ultra is equipped with a 50 mp sony imx 989 sensor which is said to be the only one inch type sensor in the market currently and it's said to be the sensor that is capable of capturing the best low light shots of all sensors guys and another flagship device with this sensor is the vivo x100 pro so the sony imx 589 even though its megapixel count is just 50 mp is literally a flagship tier sensor so do not let megapixel counts deceive you the amor 26 ultra may have the 200 mp isocell hp3 sensor but that doesn't mean that it's automatically better than the sony imx 989 50 mp sensor so just to let you guys know anyway the amor 26 ultra has a much more bigger battery capacity but the amor 28 ultra also has a large battery capacity 10,600. i think that's large enough in my opinion but of course if you want a device with a much more bigger battery capacity then the amor 26 ultra is for you the amor 28 ultra also have a much more better display an AMOLED display the Amor 26 Ultra has a larger display you know 6.78 inch versus 6.67 inch but the Amor 28 Ultra's panel is definitely better than that of the Amor 26 Ultra so overall the Amor 28 Ultra is a much more better device in my opinion but I'd like to hear your thoughts guys which of the two devices do you think is best in your opinion feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next update peace out